Hi again, Doug here from X-Frames FPV, and today I've got a final thought slash wrap-up video for you on the LT-105 Micro FPV quadcopter from GearBest. Now, it has taken me a while to get this one done because the first one that was sent out to me, um, I ended up having an issue with the flight controller, and so GearBest, GearBest sent me out a new one. And with the Christmas holidays and trying to get everything done before Christmas break for me, I took a week off and everything. I just didn't have time to put the flight controller in. So I did that and copied the PIDs over from the old flight controller so that I'm not giving this an unfair advantage by having my tune, my personal tune on it. And then flew it. And man, I am impressed by this. You know, I think um, before this... You know, probably my top would have been maybe the QX95 or um, there's some other ones in there. But um, this one is definitely, definitely at the top. Whether it's number one, I don't know. I haven't had quite as much time with it as I have some of the others. But man, I put this, put a battery in it, took it out, flew it, flew it in the shop first, locked in, no problem. You know, in the shop, if it's if it's not locked in, it's not fun to fly because it's tight enough in here that you just get into the walls and stuff like that really quickly. And so um, I didn't have that problem with it, took it and flew it in a little bit larger area. And this thing has plenty of power. It the I was really impressed with the range of the VTX on this one. Um, it's the same standard um 25 milliwatt VTX, but for some reason it just worked really, really well. This is an F3 flight controller. It worked really well. Um, so, you know, I've reviewed here recently seven or eight of these. Um, and then I also have the um, Alpha 110 from Grockner, which is an 8.5 millimeter racer. And you know, I've reviewed and flown that, and, and this one is right up there with them. I just was really impressed with, number one, kind of the build quality. Now, I'm sorry for the rubber bands. I did that to hold the battery on because it's better than the other system of a battery wrapped around these two areas, and it just didn't hold. But let you get an idea and look at kind of how things are laid out. This is running an FR Sky receiver, and I just... um I just was really happy. Took a couple of hard hits um, that that I thought were going to maybe be a little bit of an issue. One of them was up on this front arm. You can see there's just, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit of, a, of an indentation on that. Let me see here. There we go. I don't think you can see that, but um, it did not, it held together. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of these out there. There's a lot of choices that you can make as far as which ones you want, especially in this 8.5 millimeter motor. Um, but if you're looking for one and you want one that, um, that just works well, that's durable and it flies good right out of the box, this is definitely one to look at. And again, like I said, it's definitely, it's right up there with the EX100, the QX95, the... Um, T2 or the T1, um, it really is one to um, look for. So guys, I hope you're getting something out of these videos. I apologize that I didn't have any flight video of this. I'm having problems with the record function on my goggles and I did not have a chance to take my ground station out with me so that I could record from that. So that will be coming later on down the road. We're going to get a system to where it's really easy to set up the ground station so that we can record these for you guys and, and either that or get the record function a little bit working better on my goggles. So again, I appreciate you guys. Check out my website at xframesfpv.com. That's xframesfpv.com. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. And I hope you get some time to fly.